Okay, first video, training vlog video. I'm going to take you through some of the training I do today by myself. Uh, I missed morning training with my friend, but uh, I did a mixed martial arts class a little while ago, did a little bit of sparring, but uh, the guys are still very new, so we're just working on some of my basic stuff. Uh, today I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on kickboxing training, as well as some basic jiu-jitsu movements, so I'll be showing you some of that. So one of my favorite things to do uh, to warm up is skipping. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty good exercise uh, in terms of cardio and getting your body, uh, the blood flow going through your muscles and uh, getting you ready for uh, combat training. So there are some coaches out there who say that skipping is uh, like a thing of, a, of the past but for me personally it has helped me a lot with my uh, movement because it, it helps me keep light on my feet. Um, I'm naturally uh, very flat-footed when I move, so uh, skipping for me has improved my uh, calf strength as well as my, my uh, lightness in movement for kickboxing and boxing. So um, I don't know, for me it worked. I don't skip for a very long time, like 12 rounds or whatnot, I skip for about 5 minutes or 10 minutes every day, that's it. Um, usually what I do next is uh, some shadow boxing. I find that shadow boxing is very useful uh, because you need to be able to move uh, when you fight, as you fight, so you need to be able to train for that in a more uh, live sort of way. Uh, the first round of shadow boxing, usually I just uh, move uh, without striking. I focus on my footwork, focus on my head movement, changing levels a little bit. I'm getting back into striking after a very long time, so uh, for me, I'm, I'm just following the pattern uh, of, of uh, learning the same thing I teach uh, people uh, who coach under me. So I'm, I'm in a sense, I'm doing my own program. Um, so after the first round, the second round, I start uh, with some light strikes. I don't aim for speed as much. Uh, I still keep my head movement going. I usually start with the straight punches, jab and cross. Uh, try to add the hooks and uh, uppercuts uh, as we go on. Uh, towards uh, the third round or maybe the fourth round, I start picking up the speed a little bit. Actually, this is, this is probably the third round for today and uh, I, I put my breathing into action, I put uh, my speed going uh, so it, it's more realistic and I try to uh, move out of uh, fighting range right after my combination without staying there something I used to do a long time ago My favorite thing about training at my gym is the environment I mean look how beautiful this is it's all uh, the trees that used to be here before we uh, built the place. I minimize the amount of trees I cut for the place because I love trees. I think, you know, uh, the fact that the place is surrounded by uh, greenery is what makes it very appealing to a lot of people. It's very relaxing, especially after a long day of work, you come here and you train MMA, but you still feel like you've been to some Shaolin monastery type place. So now that we've done the warm up for striking, it's time for some bag work. So uh, what I like to do when I train is I choose one technique or maybe two uh, for the day uh, and I try to really work on that technique uh, for a few, uh, maybe a round or two. Uh, so today's technique is a jab because like I said I'm just getting back into striking. So as you see I, I was just measuring the distance in the first few jabs then I was uh, just checking my structure by lightly pushing against the bag. Now I've started to tap the bag adding a little bit of power with my hip getting the back, back foot rotation going, keeping my uh, right hand up, uh, covering my face at all times. I'm trying to rotate the shoulder at the end of the jab to get that extra uh, range in. Uh, because I have been known to have uh, short punches from time to time. I'm trying to keep my chin tucked in, uh, trying to uh, keep my head safe and uh, just trying to work on the technical aspect of the jab rather than just you know blindly throwing it everywhere. What I now like to do is just uh, work on a, a little bit of a kick combination. So it's a deep to a uh, right uh, round tie kick. So uh, it's a very easy combo. I start with the easy deep. Uh, maybe I can add some punches in the middle. But I think today I decided to do a little bit more work on the kicks because I haven't been doing much kicks for a while. Um, one thing I love about the uh, about Muay Thai way of striking is like the teep is uh, pretty much just like a jab. I think it's called a foot jab in some circles. So for me, um, it's one of my favorite kicks. And I really like it how when you retract the teep properly, you can just set up the, the uh, kick from the other leg like just very naturally. You don't have to think uh, you know, extra for it. So the, the round kick can follow just you know right after the teep. I just love this combination. 
it's worked for me a lot and uh, if you want you can just add a few punches in the middle to make it even more uh, interesting for your opponent now I'm trying to work on another basic combination jab cross round kick initially uh, learned this through Kyokushin Karate uh, for the first time when I trained under Master Siriwadana in Sri Lanka then later when I was training in mixed martial arts uh, and uh, Jeet Kune Do and here you see me just working on a jab and a round kick it's uh, it's great I just love uh, putting techniques together you know just just working on uh, turning my hip over uh, yeah I'm just working on my punches a little bit just working on doubling up with a body shot and a hook to the head so it can be a jab body shot hook to the head could be right hand, left hand, doesn't matter. Just trying to get my hip working. Trying to keep that other hand up, chin tucked in. It's a lot of fun to work on these combinations because this is stuff that works. And you can easily do this in any uh, form of combat. Street fight or uh, mixed martial art fight or kickboxing fight. And it all works. That's the beauty of it. Now I've started to do a few rounds on my bag. I think today because of the heat I only did two minute rounds. Two two minute rounds. It was just too warm. Here I'm uh, working on just going in with various combos. Just free. Uh, you know, there's no set combos. Working on distances and the timing. Setting things up. Well, that was a little bit intense on the cardio. Especially of, uh, because of the heat. Uh, now it's the hottest time for Sri Lanka. So it's very hard to push yourself. Uh, especially at... 11:45 in the afternoon uh, in the morning uh, normally I do my weights in the evening uh, because it's cooler I can do more reps uh, when it's warm I overheat pretty fast and I, I feel like I'm not doing my best but uh, I try to work through it that's why I'm training a little bit towards the day as well sometimes when I'm especially when I miss morning training with my friend uh, but uh, yeah that's the way it goes so now it's time to do some jiu-jitsu training uh, so I'm working on some basic movements here I'm doing some shrimps uh, a hip escape it's also called so I'm working a lot on uh, uh, various hip movements because in my last grading test my professor's biggest uh, criticism for me was that my hips are not moving enough and uh, I was not um, you know uh, using a lot you know flowing the way I should be flowing for a jiu-jitsu class so there's a lot, of, a lot of work going on over there so here I'm doing a break fall to a sprawl I've kind of <laughs> slowed down at this point because I was so exhausted today but still got to push through just getting the movement at least in the system here's me doing a sideways roll uh, something I couldn't do for a while because I had this fear of going upside down uh, for a long time but I got over it uh, some time ago so here I am but in my experience for Jiu Jitsu I mean it's good to do solo drills it improves your movement but you really have to get a partner for this you really have to uh, roll you really have to drill the techniques with someone who's also moving with you with another body giving you pressure and everything so try to do that I think I uh, fell in love with Jiu Jitsu uh, quite recently when I started it I you know a long time ago for MMA I didn't really understand what, what was going on but for the past uh, two and a half years or so I've been training properly and uh, I just loved it so here's me doing some bridge and roll exercises, uh, trying to uh, work on getting rid of someone who's on t on top of you on the, in the mount position. Um, I do like doing these drills; it really improves my game with another person. So, and here's me working on some balancing drills with the Swiss ball. I was known to be a, a kid with some like very bad balance growing up, so it's for me it's a big win doing this. <laughs> So that was a really short workout, uh, I'm sweaty, tired, heart rate's gone up, uh, especially because if it's, it's, it's really warm these days in the middle of the day, uh, I feel really dehydrated, although I've been drinking water, uh, so I have to cut things short, uh, cut things a little bit intense today, but that's typically what you want to do uh, on a typical workout, of course there are so many other things you can add into it like burpees and uh, uh, a lot of ab work uh, and a lot more bag work if you like. 
but uh, I mean it's up to you it's 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 your training it's it's what you do it's your goals so uh, guys train hard train smart um, join us if you can at the shed uh, we'd we'll be really happy to help you guys out so many good coaches over here uh, so yeah all right so all the best this is Pragster signing off